So what is life like without Ash versus the Evil um, Dead? There is no life without Ash versus Evil Dead. And I say that because you can always stream it on Stars whenever you like. Uh, you know, I, I, I think the fans for this show are so diehard that I wouldn't be surprised if this isn't the, the, the last time we see Ash vs. Evil Dead. I think it's important to remember Rob Tappet, Sam Ramy, Bruce Campbell started this thing, you know, t more than 20 years ago. So they're still around, they're still pumping things out. So if the fans keep bashing on the door, I don't think it'll be the last time we see it. Do you think that it could be a compilation of some more modern horror films now instead of just being the 80s? It's a really interesting question. I mean, like if it was a Game of Thrones meets Walking Dead meets Ash vs. Evil Dead meets Westworld spin-off, that sounds amazing. I'd be down for that. Totally. <laughs> um, so have you got any other uh, fun things going on right now? Uh, I wouldn't say it's fun, but it's certainly... Uh, I've been working on a, a project called Charlie Says, which is Mary Harron's latest project about the Charlie Manson uh, situation. So it's been harrowing. Um, but yeah, that's probably the only thing I can talk about, I think. And what are you playing in that? Uh, I think I can tell you I play Jay Sebring. Okay, hmm. I can see that. Thank you very much. Yes, yes, very nice. All right, well, it was really wonderful talking to you. Thank you so much. Cheers.